just a short distance from that same gate. These devastating images show the wounded on the streets of Kabul. The Kabul Emergency Hospital says it's treating dozens of patients injured in the attack. In a statement to ABC News, a Taliban spokesperson is condemning the gruesome incident. The explosions happening hours after the U.S. Embassy in Kabul warned Americans to leave the airport immediately and to avoid it unless instructed amid fears of an ISIS-affiliated attack. The acting ambassador to Afghanistan with this warning on GMA just minutes before the explosions. Being part of these huge crowds that remain uh, around the gates and entrances to the airport is, is dangerous. Uh, we're obviously concerned about our own people as well. The White House says President Biden spent the morning in the Situation Room with his national security team. The president has now canceled or postponed several events on his public schedule for today. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.